But let's get back to Melissa really quickly. This again just burst from a hurricane yesterday to a cat four uh, late last night and early this morning and could become a category five before a landfall on Jamaica sometime late tomorrow. So unfortunately, the shear that was kind of limiting its strengthening for a while last week has now decreased. It's over really warm waters. It's got a really good organization, although it's not the hugest storm, but you can see it might still actually when it finally gets a push to the north could still be a major hurricane making landfall on Cuba as we get toward Tuesday to Wednesday and then Turks and Caicos, southeastern Bahamas will be watching it, and it might actually eventually get somewhat close to Bermuda. So, Melissa, a big storm and unfortunately will be a memorable storm for some of those Caribbean islands, particularly Jamaica and actually Haiti and the Dominican Republic also looking for a lot of rain and the rainfall. Of course, the winds are going to be bad, but the rainfall is the big concern. There could be two feet plus in some parts of Jamaica and maybe even close to two feet on the island of Hispaniola, Haiti and Dominican Republic public as well. So here it is. This is finally that trough moving in and guiding out to the northeast Melissa and it'll kind of go between that trough and this big high. So that's why it will make that move pretty fast and it'll happen quickly out into the western Atlantic but not for a couple more days. So that's slow moving and very powerful storm. Just really a, a concerning situation there around Cuba and particularly Jamaica and into Haiti, Dominican Republic and maybe even Turks and Caicos and some parts of the Bahamas.